Jesus tells us in Matthew 5.14 You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. This is a series helping others see Christ by seeing the light in others. God reaches out to us and calls us in many ways. Here you are going to hear an account from Elton Brunty, coach and former football player at Furman University, tell us about his encounter with God on an interstate highway. Yeah, um, coach Elton Brunty, I've heard your uh, testimony of how uh, God uh, came to you on an interstate while you were traveling to go see some of your friends. I remember the first time you told that story uh, of your uh, experience with him to our group uh, back when we were up at the K&W years and years ago. And um, I got so much joy out of hearing it again um, over and over each time that you tell it because it's like it's still just as fresh and just as amazing uh, so anyhow, I was wondering if you could just kind of refresh me on your story again and just tell me a little bit more about, you know, uh, that experience and then what it's meant to you over the years. They've, it, it uh, came on like, like it was the thing to do. I had, uh, I had not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. I had been invited to become baptized and so on and go through what I had to go through, what everybody has to go through. And uh, I was on my way to New Jersey to visit some Furman guys that I played football with, and fraternity brothers. And uh, I had stopped off in North Carolina, got me a little hot dog and a bottle of pop, and I happened to see a billboard, a big old 25, 24 foot billboard. And I was able to read the first line and the second line, but I did not catch, I was not able to uh, read the third line. And as I was going north, Something was in my head and in my heart because I had never realized how important what I had seen would mean to me. Uh, and I knew that I wanted to get back down to that spot to read that billboard and read what that third line spoke to me about. So it was Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world. Those were the two lines that you could see. Yeah. And then the line that you couldn't see was ask him to be yours today. Yes. Yeah. But okay. I, I did not see that third line until I got back on Sunday night in that same area, same billboard, because I drove turned around on 95 and crossed over 95 and headed north and I was uh, I had gone to church I had gone to Sunday school my mother uh, uh, was a Christian lady I had been by so many churches with a little sign out front when you went by uh, that sign the first time and you saw the uh, you know the first line Jesus Christ the savior of the world uh, you could tell that there was something else down at the bottom but you just didn't know what it was and so the whole time you were up there with your friends you were thinking about boy when i go back by there i got to see what that last line is on that sign right yeah it just stayed in your mind you couldn't you couldn't get rid of it could you i was so glad so happy that i was experiencing that because i had never experienced it before and then when I got back down there, um, it didn't take me long at all to realize this is for me. They're talking, that billboard is talking about me. And I just opened my arms. We want to challenge you. 
today to search the way you are portraying Christ in your life. Do others see Christ in you? We all need to witness by example and let others see Christ in us.